Best of luck with that. Now, do you like to maybe bake in your spare time? Maybe you're really good at knitting jumpers. Well, with one in five British adults taking up a side hustle since the pandemic, it turns out your hobby could be worth a small fortune, Joseph. Yeah, as the average side hustle is said to rake in just under £500 per month, Dave Fishwick is here with his top tips on how you can make a lucrative turnover from your pastimes. Now, Dave, thank you so much for joining us because you're so Hollywood now. And you find the time to come in and see us. Well, the movie is about to be cinematically released in cinemas all across America and Canada. So this is Banker Dave movie. Banker Dave, number one movie, is about to be released in wow. the next few days' time, the 25th of August. Is this the last time you'll ever speak to us, Dave? <laughs> Remember? No, that's after the button comment this morning. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I know, I was nervous, though. I was like, you know... <laughs> you haven't done it now, okay. though, is it? But I just saw one of those buttons moving a pshoom through the air. Are you a knitter, Craig? Um, no, I'm not. No. Are you a knitter, Josie? I, I can't say I am, no. No. Well, people are knitting to make extra money. Oh. They're making cakes, they're making buns, they're making sausage rolls. People, like you say, are making 500 quid a month and some of them are making 1,000 quid a month. That's 12,000 a year, 10 years, 120 grand out of part-time money that they can earn on the side, the side hustle. Now, I always had a side hustle when I was younger. I left school useless, 16 years old, straight onto a building site as a builder's labourer. But at night, I was a DJ. At night, making a few quid on the side. And this is what I did. Just join us, get in your welcome home. Where else could you be? It's Friday through the Saturday morning. Get ready for the big one. What's happening, Dave? You were singing this morning. I saw you. You've inspired me. Have I? So people can go DJ, people can walk dogs, people can do lots of things, especially if you're good at something. You can turn it into the job you want to do. I used to go to car auctions at night, I'd be DJing at night, I'd be selling on the markets in the morning. What you've got to do, you've got to find your passion. What do you love to do? And if you love doing something, it doesn't feel like a job anymore. So, if you love baking, start baking. Work out what's it going to cost. Work out how much it's going to cost to make. All the ingredients, put it together. Work out what it's costing with the gas and the electric. What's it going to cost to deliver them? Work out that at 25% and start with that. Once you start down that road, that's the beginning. And scale, Dave, scale. Like, it's OK to start very, very, very small and... I mean, what, well, you've got to start it? small, but think big. So, if you're going to be a baker... This is what you need to do. You need the publicity. You can't afford big adverts in a newspaper, but if you're making a sausage roll this big, why not make it two foot longer? So you've got the <laughs> longest sausage roll in the country. You ring the local paper, the local radio, I've got the biggest sausage roll <laughs> in the UK, yeah. bar none. You're down you. there in seconds. <laughs> seconds. So you can start a business with no money? Well, I started with absolutely nothing. How do you start a business with nothing? I started in the car job. I loved cars. I wanted to buy and sell cars. But how would you start with nothing? I didn't have the price of a gallon of petrol. So I went round all the car garages and I found one that would let me take one of the old pot exchanges away, clean it up, bring him their money back. The difference were mine. It was an old Cavalier. I returned him 70 quid. I sold it for 97. And the difference were mine. That was the beginning. And I turned that into the largest supplier of minibuses in the country. So if I can do it, a lad from Burnley with no qualifications, wow. anybody at home can do it. That's a big sausage roll, Dave. <laughs> oh, it's so important, though. And craft fairs. You take your products to craft fairs. And then you can use these things online, like Etsy and Depop. Or you can use eBay. The first 250 things you sell on eBay is free. So you can really use those things. So, just tell us more about that. So we're getting into the practical side of it now. You've decided what you're going to do, sausage rolls, knitting, whatever it might be. How do you use all these sites? What, what do you do next? The first thing you do is get yourself a website. That's really important. You can go online. It'll cost you around about three quid a month to host it. There's lots of people online that will do that for you. Once you've got yourself a website, then start building the story. We helped somebody build a pie, the Malkin pie. And because it was from where there was witches up Pendle Hill, we put that story around it and it was just a meat and potato pie and the granddaughter used to stamp the witch on the top. And that's all it was. But we put a story around it and that went from one pie to selling in supermarkets all over the country. So everybody at home can do this. That's a great story. And it takes nothing to open up like an Etsy account 
or, or an Instagram account. A lot of people are making businesses just off that, aren't they? That's right. Facebook, community Facebook. Get online, ring the local papers, ring the local radio, get people interested in it. The cost of an item on Etsy, as it shows there, the first ones, 16 pence, 20p processing fee. Now, eBop do take 20% commission on clothes you sell on there. eBay. eBop. eBop, is it? eBop. Yeah, I called it eDop earlier. <laughs> do you bought do 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 eBop. <laughs> you sing it and I'll whistle it. My word. E pop, D pop, the head's gonna pop, Dave. Oh, it was D pop and eBay. <laughs> D pop, so eBay, and oh. Etsy. Right. Etsy. <laughs> so you're talking D pop? Yes. Okay, and what's that do? And what they do is they sell fashion. So if you're knitting something, if you've got an old second hand garment, if you've got something you don't use anymore, put it online. Get involved. That's what it's all about. Think about what you want to do. The four rules. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. And rule number three, never give up. And the most important rule of all, never, ever give up. Have a go, everybody. Oh, do you know, when he talks, do you find both of us are like, we lean yeah. into you. It's, you're quite inspirational fella, Dave. Um, there are practical sides of this. Taxes to be paid, etc. Do you exactly. have to register for all that stuff? Yes. When you start the business, you've got to register online with HMRC. As soon as you met the first thousand quid, you need to start letting people know. And get yourself an accountant. But before you pay for one, just ring one up and ask for a bit of advice. You'll get that free. Hey, his mood dropped when he mentioned tax man, didn't he? <laughs> you know Dave, have you got any um, tips on how to get the community involved? I love the idea of the community. So community pages on Facebook are a really good thing. If you get local people involved, run by the community to benefit the community. Find out what they want. Get involved. I have a lady that started with dog biscuits. She started off, she was a police officer, and she was selling dog biscuits, million rubies dog biscuits. She went from selling dog biscuits from a kitchen, she's now borrowed some money from the Bank of Dave, she's opened a factory selling dog oh, biscuits. Amazing, OK. Million rubies, have a look online. Oh, million great. Rubies. She's uh, selling in Ireland. Is she? Yeah. Right, I'll be Googling when I get Marvelous. home. Don't worry about that. Um, he's so inspirational, isn't he? You do, seriously, you get, us, you get us fired up, Dave. Thank you so I much. I enjoy coming. Yeah. I bet you do. I bet <laughs> We're living the dream. I no joy. idea is too simple an idea, is it? That's right. Think what you're passionate about. What do you love to do? Because that is where you start in life. Follow your passions and the pounds will come, Dave. You can have that one. I'm writing that down. Have it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you so much. There you go. Look, the loose women are up next. Hi.